In this video, I'm going to show you how to control the visibility of multiple components using multiple selectors. So, for example, you may have a dashboard that has a label based menu up top, but also you want to make selections using a list box to the left. You can do this by controlling the same fields or the same cells that feed the dynamic visibility with both selectors. And I'll show you one way how you can do that. The basic idea is that each of these components have dynamic visibility enabled and if I double click on one of these components you'll see that uh, each one is linked to a cell. So for example this particular line chart is linked to cell C7 on this particular sheet. That is a dynamic visibility trigger for the line chart. For the pie chart this is a dynamic visibility trigger. Column chart this is. So this is a table that basically triggers or controls the dynamic visibility of each of these components. The idea is that both of your selectors, your list box and your label menu, are going to share this particular table. Now the question is, how do you determine uh, what's selected visible or not? Well, each of these selectors are going to have to be set up in the same way, using the same insert option. So if I double click on the label based menu here, you'll notice here that the insert option here is status list. What does that mean? Well, if you look at this little movie here, you'll see that status list actually says that each label belongs to a cell, and when you select a label, it actually puts either a 1 or a 0 in each of these particular cells. And so if there's a 1 in the trigger cell, then that component becomes visible, and if there's a 0, then that component is not visible. So the idea is, with the status list, you're not only changing one cell, but you're changing the entire table. So you can use multiple selectors, because each time a selector is chosen, this whole table, or this whole set of cells, resets. If you use any of the other insert options, it's possible that you can set your Excel model so that your components that you're trying to make visible or not visible uh, gets conflicting messages from different selectors. With the status list, however, you can't do that because once the status list is hit, it's basically reset for all of the particular uh, components that you're trying to set visibility on. So as you can see, if I double click on the list box, it's the same thing. I've got uh, my labels here, but I've got my status list uh, selected here as my insert option. And then when I say insert in, I see my status list is basically inserting right here, basically saying this is the list that I want to manage. And just to show you one last time, label based menu, same thing here, status list, insert in. Again, I'm using the same exact table to manage that particular list. Okay, so let me just do a quick demonstration for you and then I'll show you how this works. Uh, let me just pop in a grid here and I'm going to link the grid to these cells here because I just want to show you how it changes in real time as you select. Um, so let me just play this and so you see as I select watch this list right here as I select column chart this list changes to say hey radar chart is now a 1 and because now it's 1 this radar chart thing becomes visible line chart is now a 1 column chart is now a 1 if, but if I do this line chart not only is it basically saying line chart is a 1 but it just reset this whole list of uh, triggers so that only one of these things can be a one at one time. And that's basically the gist of it. It's the basis of tying multiple selectors to the dynamic visibility of multiple components.